glimpses from the battlefront of the world to show how training pays off. These mountainous impasses were once traversed by the Romans. Now U.S. troops, conditioned for this terrain, ever cautious of their footing, plod their way up the hazardous trail. Our attack has been held up by heavy machine gun and mortar fire. An observation post established, M4 tanks are ordered to support the infantry by destroying German emplacements. Tank crews are given their assignments. Tanks move up on the flank. By a covered route, the infantry moves toward the jump-off position. disperse and take individual cover. One goes into a hull defilade position, while another takes high ground. The other tanks move into selected positions. This driver knows natural growth shouldn't be disturbed, but sometimes it's unavoidable. By direct fire, trained armored force gunners clear obstacles for their infantry teammates. To overcome resistance, this mortar squad moves up to furnish close support during the assault. Resistance overcome, our troops move ahead. The Volturno River, swollen by torrential rain, our engineers, faced with the problem of getting troops and equipment across, had to span this water quickly, hampered by wind, rain, and cold. They established abutment sites with rock. Now the steel treadway was laid on rubber pontons. Trained men, wet and freezing, fight against time. Force the bridge, they lash lines to trees on the bank. To alleviate stress and strain, the ropes were anchored wherever possible.
anchors were cast into the riverbed at intervals appropriate to the velocity of the current. But the fury of the river increased, and there's a limit to the pounding a pontoon bridge can take. And the bridge gave way. Steel girders twisted and pontons washed ashore like toy balloons. The alert crew rescue one of their men, half frozen. A new construction job necessary. Bulldozers push back the mud for new abutments. Wild trucks slough through the mire, bringing up material. Steel trestles are anchored onto the riverbed. This one holds. The new bridge is completed. These men lick this roaring torrent. They're trained. Dark, dank, impenetrable undergrowth. Mines blasting, machine gun bullets coming from nowhere. These men are training for the toughest kind of warfare. Rope ladders to scale precipitous cliffs. Rope bridges to cross impassable streams. Now they're only Roman candles with a hot foot to remind them where the shrapnel might come. The swaying, swinging tightrope span at dizzy height is a test for any man's sense of balance. Coordination of every muscle is essential. This is preparation. This is a test of fitness. And the good soldier fights as hard to learn as he does to win. Did you get that? The good soldier fights as hard to learn as he does to win. And here's what they're training for. Invasion. Cape Gloucester, on the island of New Britain, early morning. B-24s, the softening process. Bombs away. Jap pillboxes blasted, crumbling under the weight of our high explosive. The coastline is covered with smoke to prevent aimed fire by the Japs and to hide our approach. In perfect teamwork, our Navy goes into action to blast the beaches. Under this cover, the convoy of troops and equipment moves in. Boats are lowered. The men fill them quickly and silently and move away from the nets as soon as they're in the boat. Notice how important it is to be skilled in going down the nets. The Higgins boats are crowded but orderly. The rifles are slung loosely, ready for action. wave hits. They move rapidly but in perfect order. Don't stumble. It's important to stay on your feet at a time like this. Use a wide stride. Continued air support as the enemy is pushed further inland. Reinforcements and heavy equipment move in. Men move ashore quickly, keeping their weapons high and dry. Trucks loaded with men and equipment roll from the bellies of ships. Tanks ready for action. Supplies are unloaded and moved up. The invasion moves inland through the swamps. Men, 
neck deep in water, carry ammunition on their shoulders to keep it dry. That goes for the weapons, too. No time here to field strip a rifle. Signal Corps troops, alert for snipers, lay wire. A field switchboard is quickly set up. Communications must be established between units. Quick thinking counts here. Vital messages to be relayed on. And while you're doing this, keep your shirt on, soldier. Keeping the body covered is added protection against malaria. And now, a cautious advance on Jap positions. Men properly dispersed. <laughs> With mortars to help cover their advance, sights checked constantly. Pass their way forward. The men follow closely, protected by this wall of moving steel. They fan out. No ground left uncovered. The dense undergrowth is combed with fire. and destruction, planes that will never fly again. And as the troops dig in, wounded are cared for immediately. The bombers return to their bases. Gloucester is ours. Training pays off.